Hi, this is Alana from the QuickBooks team. QuickBooks Enterprise helps you understand how quickly your inventory sells with the Inventory Turnover by Item report. Understanding your inventory turnover helps you make better decisions on what to charge customers and when or if to reorder stock. Let's go over how to run the report, look up your inventory turnover, and then learn how QuickBooks calculates your inventory turnover. Select Reports, Inventory, Inventory Turnover by Item Report. The first time you run the report, you'll receive these helpful hints. Select this checkbox if you don't want to see this message when you run the report again later. Select Continue. The report displays each inventory and inventory assembly item from your items and services list, and information about turnover for each item. Inventory turnover represents how many times you've sold through your stock for this item over the selected date range. A high ratio indicates strong sales relative to your stocking. Often, this is good because it shows the item is popular, but it could also indicate that a company doesn't keep enough stock on hand, which can lead to shortages and an inability to meet customer demands. Turnover days represents how many days, on average, a single unit stayed on your shelves. QuickBooks calculates all of this with your company's purchase and sales data. Let's take a look. QuickBooks tracks how much your inventory was worth at the beginning of the date range and the end. Then, QuickBooks calculates the average between these two numbers. This is how valuable your stock was, on average, within these dates. The cost of goods sold represents the total value of the inventory you sold over the selected date range. When you divide cost of goods sold by the average inventory value, you calculate the turnover ratio for your inventory. QuickBooks then divides the number of days in the date range by the turnover ratio. This tells you how long each unit stayed on the shelf in days. If you discover anything you'd like to change about an item based on the inventory turnover values, you can double-click an item to edit it. From here, you can adjust price, reorder point, and more. Select the Sort By dropdown to resort the report by turnover ratio or days. If you want to narrow down this report to show inventory with specific turnover days or ratios, select Customize Report, Filters, Turnover Days, or Ratio. From here, you can choose to see items that are greater or less than, or equal to a specific number, or in a range. Whether your inventory ratios are good or bad depends on your industry. As an example, industries that supply perishable goods or rely on rapidly changing fashions tend to aim for higher turnover, while luxury goods and heavy machinery manufacturers usually have lower turnover. If you have questions, consult with your accountant or experts in your industry. Now you're ready to run the inventory turnover report and gain deeper insights into the products your business sells.